Hello team. I'm uh, I'm making new new Horse of Iron video. Today I'm gonna show you how to naval invade United Kingdom as Denmark. So first you're going to make uh, go and uh, go political effort to become a fascist, okay? <laughs> and then you're going to um, when you're going to research um, naval invasion. Um, oh, I already have. Th that's really, really good. I did not know. N I did not know. I'm not uh, not a seasoned Danish player. So I'm gonna research some new um, new boat. And uh, I always do uh, the best research. Um, uh, interwar tank. As Denmark always do interwar tank. And um, after that, you will always going to do recon company number two. So I'm gonna do generic stuff now, be back later. Now I'm going to build a Danish submarine. Yes, we need Danish submarine. Very nice. And, uh, and some, uh, and some uh, Niles, Niles, uh, Coach, Niles Lul class. <coughs> oh, no, 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 no. And uh, remember to always buy, always buy steel from Turkey. Turkey best country. Okay, then I'm gonna give this, this dude, new commander, best commander, Sven Achenbund. It seems Turkey would like to scam me. Why the fuck you scam Turkey, okay? Give me, give me my thing. Stop, stop not uh, delivering, okay? Not okay. I'm gonna have to trade with like um, Sweden or something. No good. Fuck off. After political, um, thought where I'm going to put, uh, put um, fascist in government. Fascist team. And then we put, um, we, uh, we start. And we wait until we can... Uh, Till, till we can go this and go down the com the fascist route, but now we go naval effort. Large navy. I always need large navy. Now I go. Um, now I go uh, down um, and the research um, with gun, gun for sheep. Uh, I think personally. I think a gun on ship is a good good for a naval battle. That's personal opinion though. Okay. I change. Uh, now we're doing best uh, best research um, artillery and anti tank. We will need anti tank to naval invade. It's very important. Anti tank is really good on ocean. Fascism going very well, very well. Meanwhile, we can go to early mobilization because because Denmark love love gun. Then uh, we research um, what all I everyone need to research um, train. We're going to build the uh, the greatest railroad ever seen. By the way, fun fact about Denmark. Denmark is the number one arms uh, dealer in the world. Denmark produces 80% of all the guns used in the entire world. And then we build a supply hub everywhere because Denmark loves terrain. I know, I traveled to Denmark once. They were very terrain. Now we go near to um, do down to capital ship effort. And then we're going to construct very gun, very gun, like true Danish man. That's what you got to do, okay? And then uh, you're going to start to build the ca cavalry, um, because horses are very, very OP in in the ocean. As you see, we are, don't have many guns. That because we sell all guns to entire world. The only reason UK won. Uh, World War 2 is because Denmark provided very gun. 
no, no, we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need down to, um, do the submarine effort because, uh, Denmark is a submarine. Look, our cavalry is half, half done. Now, we need to create armor train because if attack, then no good. We need to be able to defend the train against evil, evil, um, evil other one in the nation, man. Now I build terrain because I need big terrain. Denmark has the greatest navy in this game at the start, so this will probably be extremely easy to naval invade the United Kingdom. Now I finally can deploy my cavalry. Look, it's the Danish cavalry. I'm gonna, I'm going to, I, I, I really love this, this thing. I'm going to name it, um, here. I think that's horse in, in, in Danland. So, so, uh, Danland Hirst. That's probably it, I think. I don't know. Danland Hirst. Okay, we put there now. Ooh. Oh no, Hindenburg. No, that's no good. I know, like, I actually I like Hindenburg. I think Hindenburg is cool. quite, quite cozy. It's like campfire. Now we need to research more anti-tank. And uh, don't forget uh, aviation effort. It's really good for a naval invade. And I need to research the truck. I need truck for naval invade. I uh, actually, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the first boats were actually trucks in on the water. So um, you need a truck to be able to build new boat in Hot Fire on 4. I maybe forgot to mention. And the next next focus is um is um um, um the best um, um fight bomber focus. Actually, very good for naval invade. You see, in uh, in World War Two, um, boat boat could fly, and when boat fly could drop bombs. So if I do bomber focus, my my boat my fly boat can drop bomb, and we win. Look, I can upgrade my train to armored train. Open up political discourse for more yes, and when we expand the support. And uh, then we discredit the government. And now, almost, almost all, look, even more, we are 46 fascist. Actually, Denmark is a very fascist country. Um, Denmark has a dictator, has a dictator uh, to, to rule them. Uh, the Danish uh, the dictator is called, um, is, uh, is called uh, Rasputin. He is uh, no good man. He really likes to build furnaces in the ba in backyards of uh, of uh, civilians. Um, then Denmark has um, has also declared the war on Sweden uh, for uh, many times during this last uh, couple of years. Actually, Sweden is puppet of Denmark um, and Norway too under uh, the Kalmar Union. Uh, this happened in 2021 during the Corona pandemic. Actually, Denmark invented coronavirus. Now we need the uh, Recon Company free for this Recon Company is really good for naval naval invade. Okay, uh, we're gonna try to look here. Oh no, I don't. I'm poor. I can't. Uh, I can't afford the Recon Company because uh, in cavalry division, you really want to use armored Recon Company. It's really good. So uh, the best way to win in, over UK is actually to to land in Hull and and then run to Cockmouth uh, because if I go to Cockmouth, Cock in mouth, uh, I cut in half. So we have Cockmouth side and Hull side down. So if I cut them in half, it's really easy to take over United Kingdom. 
So always have in your brain hull to cock mouth. Hull cock in mouth. Remember that. Okay, so actually, yeah, for this war we're not going to need uh, need the normal infantry. So we are going to delete my normal infantry, and uh, so we just have horse because horse is very good. Or as Danny Dunland say, um, uh, he is. Now we can hold the national referendum. Now I fascist, and uh, now I as fascist is um, going to uh, soon. I will declare war on these guys. Now it's time to justify war goal on this fuck, this fucker. I don't like. Okay, it take uh, 185 day. In 185 day we go home. Oh, Japan want docking right. Actually, when you give someone docking right, uh, they automatically join war for you in in the war. So this will mean Japan will go fuck uh, Britain. Okay, okay. Uh, now we go down, um, now we go down, um, um, a collectivist ethos. It's really good actually, it's really good. It, uh, it makes naval invade go ten times faster. Look, look, it's Danish train. It's Danish trains. Oh no way, it's Danish train. Oh my god. Dunland train. Mm, horse, horse, I like horse. Eleven horse, that's really good. Because horse can go to cook more easy. You see, armored train is really good for naval invade because in this game you can, as you go with boat, you can build a railway on the ocean. So I co in the war I can bring train to UK to take over UK with train. It's actually really cool. I, I'm not going to show how to do this today because um, because I no time. But uh, but you can Google it. Um, yeah, favorite YouTuber Alex Rambler show too. Now we're going to make war propaganda against against fucker, because war propaganda uh, makes uh, naval invasion uh, go uh, very fast. Uh, by the way, when thinking of it, maybe I should uh, plan up naval invade too. So okay, we go to hall, and from hall we go to cook in mouth. Oh, it looks like the UK doing very very OP threat with building a um, very railroad, and the railroad very OP in game. But okay. We plan a naval invade. 70 days. How long for? Yes. Okay, it's about 70 days too. So that's perfect. We can naval invade when start. Oh, nationalism focus. Very, very good. Very OP too. I need to split this up so I really can uh, can go the OP OP road and um, and take over every ocean. I think I can do that easy because I'm actually very good at game. I don't know if you know that, but um, I'm I actually win every tournament of um, of Hearts of Iron 4. You can Google Hearts of Iron 4 uh, pro pro tournament uh, cash cup. I win every time under under the name uh, Hoy 4 top top and the truck. Um, okay, we're going to check on country. Um, hmm, what do country have? Country have a um, have very railroad, very railroad. It seems like um, I can't see like anything else, but they probably have lots of fort because UK AI usually do uh, the very OP threat of um, of putting 600 uh, uh, 600 on Isle of Man, 600 fort, so that um, when a uh, sailorman comes, um, they can just uh, stand on Isle of Man and win a war. It's very OP strat, I do it very much. Oh look, look, we can declare war, okay. Now, we declare war. Look, look at this, look at this. Oh no, I forgot to send out name. Oh wait, that's okay, because our navy is so OP. We won't even have to, have to even do that. Because yes, yeah, so this, as I say, a game very, very good. And um, Denmark is the best, the best naval power in game. Look, 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 oh, we landed in Hull. So okay, uh, we're gonna take all our units and run to cock, ma cock in mouth. And when we run to cock in mouth, we should win. Oh, look, very good, very good, very good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to push to London. Very fast. 
We run for London. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They have... Oh no! They have very OP... Very OP cars. Oh no! These divisions are very OP. They are trucks. Trucks. Oh no! This is not going to go easy. It's very hard to beat up truck in Horde 5 and 4. Because trucks are very OP. Well, we're going to do aggressive. We just run. Just rush for it. Because I don't know we win it otherwise. Oh no, it's very much for tier 2. I don't know if we can take this track. So now it seems like they... I see uh, it very seem like uh, their amphibious tanks uh, are just pushing, uh, oh no, they're escaping, they're too scared of my uh, Danish horse. It seems like they're running away. Oh no, cool, look, I can, can encircle them. Look this, look this, Horde of Iron Force threat. I encircle a uh, um, nine tank, boom, a tank die. Okay, we're going to avoid the veils, I think they are in veils. Uh, something uh, makes me think they're in veils. How, how long before surrender? Okay, they will surrender very soon. Okay, take go for Dover. Go for Bendover. And when I take Bendover, I should win. Yes, look, I win war. It's very easy to win as Denmark. Um, now we're gonna take all states. Um, and then, yes, look. Um, they are a very important part as well. Uh, first, I'm going to make thumbnail. I'm gonna pause and the uh, thumbnail here. Um, North Sea Empire um, F12 Because I need very many because Denmark best country so and now there's a very important part um, It's releasing Wales You see it's very good to release Wales because Wales is a pretty pretty cool country I, I personally like Wales and I think you should release Wales um, as, as a puppet so now we see Vale down here. Vale is a really good country. So now, this is how you um, how you naval invade. That's uh, everything for the tutorial. And uh, uh, you you guy you boy call me a Russian Russian boy. That's no okay. Okay, I come for you. So uh, goodbye. Hoi for tips and tricks out.